Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm going to be creating a teacher card using two stamp sets from Mama Elephant. I'm using the Page Huggers stamp set as well as the Words Defined stamp set. I'm going to be creating a teacher card and I don't have any children myself, so I never thought I would need to create a teacher card, but then I realized that I have quite a few friends from high school and college who became teachers. So I thought it would be fun to create a teacher card and send it to one of them to show some support for everything that they do every day. So I'm starting out by stamping the small mouse from the stamp sets, from the page checker stamp set, near the top edge of this cardstock in some VersaFine ink. I'm using this particular type of cardstock, which is Bristol paper, because I'm going to be using some Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers. And if you've been watching my YouTube channel or my blog over the last few months, you, you've seen that I've recently been converted to Bristol paper, especially when it comes to using watercolor color markers. I'm using VersaFine Black Onyx ink, or Onyx Black ink, excuse me, for the stamping because it is waterproof. It's a pigment ink, but it does dry fairly quickly. So I'm going to be creating a scene on the front of this card. I wanted to point out that you can put the little mouth stamp on the animals if you want to, but I'm not going to. I think it looks kind of uh, more studious to not have the mouth there. But uh, like I was saying, I'm building a scene on this card. It's going to be the small mouse standing on a stack of large books with the stack of small books from the stamp set next to him. And then I'm going to put an apple on top of the stack of books as well. So I've used a ruler to draw in some lines underneath the mouse just so I knew where to uh, stamp those smaller books. And now I'm using my ruler once again to finish drawing in those books that the mouse is going to be standing on. So I'm basically drawing in three separate areas to create three books. The top book is very skinny and narrow, and then the other two are a little bit more of an average size thickness for a book. So I'm just drawing in those lines and then I'll make them a little bit shorter so that it looks more like a stack of books. I also added some lines on there for the details on the books so that I can keep that in mind when I start painting this. So like I said before, I'm using some Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers and a water brush to do some painting today. This is a small Pentel Aquash water brush and I really like to use a water brush like this when I'm using watercolor markers just for convenience sake. It's a little bit easier. If you find that there's too much water coming out of your water brush, you can most definitely use a traditional watercolor brush for painting. But since I'm going to be doing this in a little bit more of a lighter look to the whole entire scene, I don't mind if there's a little bit more water. I also stamped a pencil off to the side on another piece of Bristol paper, and I'm planning to have that pencil go underneath the mouse's arms. So I'm only painting uh, up into the edge, the bottom edge of his arms, because that pencil is going to be over the top in, in the way anyway. But I did want to have a little bit more shading in that area since the pencil would be on top. So now I'm using some other colors to paint in the rest of this painting here. And for, as far as the large books go, I'm just putting some strong color straight from the marker on the bottom and top of each book and then using my water brush to extend that color out. I figured that uh, these colors would be pale enough that it doesn't matter that the um, definition stamp is over the top in black. I, you know, It was still legible, so I didn't have to worry about it. At one point, I was thinking about uh, white heat embossing the teacher definition stamp, but then I decided not to because I wasn't sure how dark the watercoloring would be. And I also wanted to add some gold accents onto the books, and I thought maybe that white might be a little bit distracting. So if you wanted to do something like this but use darker colors for the books, you might want to stamp the teacher definition stamp in Versamark ink and then emboss with white embossing powder. But in this case, just using that black stamped image was just fine. So I'm adding a few more colors on here just to finish off this whole area on the card. And I really wanted to make sure that I didn't use the same color 
for the top book as I used for the bottom of the smaller stack. And I almost put purple on this smaller book, that same shade of purple. But then I decided I would go ahead and just change the shade of purple. And I'm going to use a purple that's a little bit more on the pink or red side. So that's the color I'm using on the, the top stack of the books. So I'll go ahead and add that color on here. I'm also uh, keeping one little square area clear from any color because I thought I would put a large gold area in that spot. I'm almost done with all of the painting. I'm just going to use a marker to color in the leaf and stem on the apple, as well as coloring in that pencil that I stamped on that separate piece of Bristol paper. I'm just going to use some yellow on the barrel of that pencil, and then I'll go ahead and just do some more coloring on the eraser, as well as the tip of that pencil. This is going to be just a little pencil that slips underneath the mouse's arms. So I'm gonna finish off the books with a little bit of gold watercolor. This is from Fine Tech, but this is their Pearl Watercolors. This is the gold palette. And I'm going to use that fourth color down. It's kind of like my favorite gold. And I'll just use a regular paintbrush for this. I'm not using my water brush because I wanted this paint to, to remain very thick so that it would cover the color underneath. I want it to be quite opaque and if I used a water brush, I was afraid that too much water would continue to come out of the brush and really water down that gold paint. So that's why I'm using a regular paintbrush for this and just applying the paint to the top of the books. So after I had all of that gold paint on the books and I'd filled in the white rectangle areas, um, I decided to add another gold rectangle. So I just put that right over the top of the green book right in the center. And like I said before, this gold paint is very thick and opaque. So it covered up that color without much of a problem. So now it's time to start assembling the pencil area of this scene. So I trimmed out the pencil stamp that I colored earlier. And I also took an X-Acto knife and very carefully went around the arms of this mouse. Now they do have a matching die for the mouse, but I wasn't cutting out the mouse, and so I wasn't able to use that die to cut out the arms. So instead I just used an X-Acto knife, and as you can see, it's not a perfect cut around those arms, but that's totally okay. I'm gonna make it look like it's perfect by using a brush tip marker around that edge. I'm just using a tuxedo black marker from Memento, and I've put another piece of paper underneath to protect that area of the mouse. And then I was able to paint the edges. I also painted the edges on the pencil that I cut out. This is going to help the pencil really blend in and look like it belongs with the rest of the scene here. So in order to put that together, I used some Tombow Mono Multi Glue and just applied that to the back of the pencil. And then I used a, a, some tweezers to hold that pencil in place while I put it into the right spot. So I just slid it over just a little bit more to the left so that it wasn't overlapping the small stack of books. And then I put a little bit of that same glue underneath the arms on the mouse because they were sticking up a little bit and I was afraid that that might catch on the envelope for the card or some other things. So I decided to go ahead and glue that down. So it is more flat, but if you wanted to have it kind of raised up, you could maybe put a tiny bit of foam underneath, a little tiny bit of foam adhesive. So I put an acrylic block on top to help that dry a little bit. And then I had some pencil lines off to the side, so I used an eraser to clean up that area. It's hard to see on camera, but there was quite a bit of pencil lines off to the side there. To make these large books look like they belong with the rest of the scene, I'm going to go ahead and use a black pen to draw in all those lines. And I used a ruler for the long lines on the books. And this makes sure that they look pristine and perfect. And I made sure they were nice and thick so they blended in with the rest of the scene. I also outlined the gold areas as well. So I'm gonna trim off the right side of the scene just a little bit. And this gives me the opportunity to add some detail underneath. So I'm gonna going to create the card base first. This is made out of some Nina Solar White cardstock. This is the 110 pound version. And I scored that at five and a half to create a side folding landscape card. 
So I'm adding some washi tape to both ends of the card here, and then I'll use my scissors to cut off the excess. And I think this might be my very first roll of washi tape that I've used all of, all of it. I have so much washi tape and I only use a little bit at a time. So this must be a washi tape design that I absolutely love. So I put, it, put some foam adhesive on the back of my watercolor piece and then adhered that down onto the card a little bit asymmetrically so there were more of those diagonal stripes on the right than on the left. Then use some Ranger Glossy Accents to add some shine to the glasses on the mouse. And that finishes up the card for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a fun card to put together. It was a little bit time consuming. Uh, in total, it took me just under an hour to finish this card, but I think it's definitely worth it and I can't wait to send it to one of my teacher friends. Thanks so much for watching today. I will catch you guys in the next card video. Mm -hmm.